Five hours and 17 minutes, and that's the hardest section of trail right there. <laughs> but damn, that's beautiful. <laughs> At least you're back in one piece. Oh, barely. <laughs> Look at it hobbling. Thanks for coming out, guys. Well, buddy. Yeah, man. It's good How's to see you, bro. We're just talking about you on the way out to start. You have dirt in your eye. <laughs> dirt everywhere. <laughs> I'm not usually that punctual. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, how'd the run go? Uh, I would have to say, all things considered, it went immaculately well. Uh, I could not have done it without my family. There's absolutely no way I would have even dreamt of it. And I definitely want to say hats off to the East, East Coast Trail Association. As far as I know, it's all volunteers and they built an absolute international gem out there. It's fantastic and the scenery alone just kind of kept me going. So uh, why did you do this? Uh, so back in March of this year, I announced something that I call Conquer the Coast and I'm from Newfoundland, born and bred in Mount Pearl. Still try and get home about once every year, year and a half. And I now live in BC. And uh, this initiative was for me to try and put a speed record on the West Coast Trail in Vancouver Island and the East Coast Trail in Newfoundland because it kind of summarizes who I am as a person and my two homes. And in um, <coughs> conjunction with that, I also wanted to link up with a uh, charity. And I chose Right to Play, which is a Canadian charity. And they take money and basically donate 100% of it to impoverished youth around the world, but mostly through Africa. And they help inspire those youth self-esteem through sport. So you ran for 35 hours straight, basically. Hours and 17 minutes. Actually, I did take a 15 minute nap at 2.30 in the morning, so. <laughs> so how do you do that? I mean, how do you keep going uh, constantly for that amount of time? I've been, I only started running in 2004, but I took to it really quickly and I really love it. And the thing I love about the longer distance events is that it's much more mental than it is physical. And uh, honestly, I've been in pain since 90 minutes into this thing. <laughs> and you just kind of have to ignore what's going on. And as long as your brain and your mind is convinced you can do it, you can it's amazing you can convince your body that it needs to do. And how often do you run like this? This is the longest run I've ever done in length by 65 kilometers. It's the longest in time by 11 hours. Uh, but I do, the longest I've done before that is 100 mile races. When there's, there's quite a few 100 mile races around North America and I've, just, I've raced four of them before. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So when, when would we... This uh, will be on tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah. Good, because I'm not moving for the next few days. Yes. <laughs> but someone's feeding me beer. I'll let you know that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you all. I appreciate your time. Thanks.